Welcome. You are watching Pro Forma, a channel that has hundreds of mind blowing stories that are shockingly true. Stay with us to dive into the most incredible and twisted real life scenarios. On December 13, 1974, the entire Soviet Union was on edge, thanks to the daring act of one extremely brave man. How a dreamer, scuba diver, oceanographer, scientist, and yoga enthusiast managed to break out from the tough system during a time when travel outside the USSR was forbidden and borders were closed. Watch our video to find out how this courageous man ended up swimming in the open ocean for three days and why he was imprisoned for six months in the Philippines. Stanislav Kirilov was an extraordinary man. He practiced swimming and, at the age of 10, bravely crossed the 250-meter-wide Irtysh River on his own initiative. Oh my God! The boy's desire for large waters eventually brought him to the Baltic fleet as an adult, but his documentation prevented him from being admitted. Stanislav, however, persisted and enrolled in both the Leningrad Meteorological Institute and the Nautical School, eventually becoming an oceanologist. He began training diving among other things, and he traveled all over Russia, from port to port. The typical person seems to dream of a prestigious, fascinating job and frequent travel. However, Stanislav was unwilling to keep his scientific studies in the borders of one country even so huge as USSR. He desired to see the entire globe. The only problem was that leaving the Soviet Union in 1974 was nearly impossible. People whose relatives were married to foreigners were suspicious too, not just dissidents and anti-Soviet activists. Kurilov's sister was married to an Indian man, with whom she lived both in India and Canada. This is precisely the reason Stanislav was frequently refused visas and prevented from traveling overseas. If a typical person had accepted his fate, our hero would have chosen to view it as a challenge and have taken more daring steps to realize his dream. By that time Stanislav Kirilov was in excellent health, had been deep sea diving, practiced yoga and breathing techniques for many years, and knew how to swim long distances. Even though he was 38 years old, his body functioned better than that of most people who were 20 years old. Stay with us, to find out the most shocking part of this story. One day, he came upon an advertisement in the newspaper, announcing the departure of a liner named, Soviet Union, on a voyage around the tropical islands. There was no need for visas or travel authorization for this route, which left from Vladivostok, traveled to the equator, and then returned without stopping at any island ports. Stanislav's plan came to him immediately, and neither his friends nor his family had any idea what he was going to do. At night, when the liner was getting close to land, around 18 kilometers, he planned to jump from the ship. He intended to swim this distance alone in the open ocean. Oh my God! So, he purchased a cruise ticket, boarded the ship in Vladivostok, and waited his time to jump. On the night of December 13, 1974, Stanislav jumped 12 meters off the ship's stern into the open ocean. He didn't realize he had made a calculation mistake until he was in the water and had been swimming for several hours. This mistake nearly cost him his life. It was 100 kilometers to the closest land. Most people would have given up, but this courageous man kept swimming despite not having a life jacket, a wetsuit, or anything else that could have protected him from sharks and huge jellyfish. A 100 kilometers swim in the open ocean, without sleep, food or water, ended after three days on one of the Philippine islands of Siargao. As soon as Stanislav found himself on the shore, he was immediately arrested by the Philippine police. And before all the circumstances were clarified, Stanislav spent six long months in prison, but fortunately he was not deported back to the USSR, since both countries did not have special agreements then, but was sent to his sister to Canada. Our hero spent the next ten years in Canada, where he was able to get a citizenship and got a job as an oceanographer. Then he participated in scientific research in Hawaii, the equator and Arctic waters. Then, during one of his scientific travels to Israel, he met the woman who would become his wife. At 50, he got married for the first time and immigrated again. Stanislav Kirilov tragically drowned in a lake in 1998, while assisting a colleague who became entangled in an underwater network. He was unable to escape in time before the oxygen tank's air supply ran out. This brave man accomplished so much in life, including realizing his dream and conquering fear in a way that no other person could. His life was simply amazing. Alone in the Ocean is a book that Stanislav Kirilov wrote about his life. It's a story of the escape, 
Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow for more.